Hi everybody, welcome to the intro to Unix assignment. Um, this is just going to be a fairly quick walkthrough because most of everything that you do here is sort of outlined by the instructions of the assignment and I don't, I'm not going to go through every single thing um, and show you uh, because I think the discovering is, is a big part of the fun. So I just want to show you kind of how, how to get set up and how to get going on it. Um, this is the, uh, the primary uh, repository for the assignment. You're, you're obviously going to need to fork this. Um, so that you can then clone it out to your Code Anywhere uh, dev box. Um, you can actually complete this assignment on any Unix machine, and you don't even need to really have the assignment, um, you know, to to have like uh, any specific web technologies from Code Anywhere. Um, what you really need is just to be able to access these files from a Unix command line. So if you want to, you could clone them to your Mac, and you could also use your Mac command line. Uh, to do this this same assignment, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to show you doing it <coughs> with a uh, Code Anywhere, which is um, the 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 preferred tool for uh, our courses. So, what we're going to do is we're we're basically going in, and if you read the requirements, it just says you know clone out your your personal fork of the repository. Um, you're going to go into this Nick Scavenger Hunt. And, um, and do everything that it says. And then if you want to do the stretch goals, you go into the stretch file and you do what that file says. So um, these files are actually uh, easier to read here on uh, GitHub. So you can look and see, here's the scavenger hunt. Um, you, uh, you can see sort of all the different things that you do. Um, you know, the, the gray things are, thi the, the things with the gray background are, are commands that you're going to type in and references to the system. Um, you're basically just following and then every single one of these bullet points ends with a question or something that you're supposed to uh, fill in. So you can just paste that right into the file as you work through everything um, and code anywhere and then ultimately you're going to commit this back to your repository and this will be the evidence that you successfully completed everything. And we work through a whole bunch of stuff. We work through moving around on the file system. We work through looking at the system, who's using it and everything, um, finding and viewing files, uh, connecting commands is the most advanced that we get this week. So this is a lot of stuff to take in. Um, you know, you're going to want to you're going to want to play with it. And obviously, the resources that we have linked um, for the under the project resources are going to be super useful to you, especially that uh, Mr. Mites uh, guide to Unix for newbies is, is going to be super useful to you here as well. Um, if you're going to do the stretch goals, uh, there's only one question. You need to use the curl application to pull this URL in. The, you will um, receive an HTML file that will have the title of a film as the title of that file. And um, you, you then need to use all of your different Unix commands and tools to uh, find the answer that we're looking for. You'll know it when you find it, but it's mysterious. That's part of the fun. So remember, if you're doing these stretch goals, you're going to have to use Unix commands that we do not mention on the other page. So um, you know, be willing to read those clues that you find and interpret them, and um, and you know, work through some new Unix commands. Feel free to work together if you want to. Uh, hopefully, that's a little fun um, scavenger hunt for you. So, how to work on this? Well, here I've cloned this out to Code Anywhere, and I've opened up the basic file. And you can see Code Anywhere's formatting of, of Markdown files is not the best, but um, you can obviously change the colors and everything. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I am going to open up the SSH terminal for this uh, workspace, and I'm going to actually just drag this up here, and I'm going to switch my view to be split vertical so that. I have an easier time viewing everything that I want to view here. So this actually makes it a little easier to read this uh, scavenger hunt file. And then I can, I can do work here. So the very first thing says use the pwd command to find the path to working directory. I can type that in here and this is the response. So if I was working on this now, I would copy that and it says paste the output of the command here. I would just paste the output of my command right there. So then it says use ls to see what's in the directory. I see ls. It says uh, what directories and files do you see? Well, I'll just copy this out right here and 
paste it in like so. So that's it. You can feel free to add extra spaces. Um, you can reformat this file if you want to as you're working through it. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can even use fancy markdown um, formatting if you want to and mark code blocks and stuff like that. I don't really mind too much as long as the information is in the file and it's, it's reasonably uh, readable, then we're probably going to do just fine. So that's pretty much how you go on. Every single one of these things asks you to do something else. Now, you certainly could just read the directions off of this format and then run them in your command line as well. So you could pull up two windows side by side on your computer. That would be probably a more comfortable way to read through this. And like I say, um, have fun, explore. This is an entire Unix workspace that you have access to. So, um, you know, get, get, get used to it and get used to trying it. We're going to be using um, several different workspaces throughout the quarter. So, uh, you know, you're going to keep on exploring things. Um, that's all for this assignment. So, good luck. Have fun exploring Unix. Good luck if you choose to attempt the stretch goals um, in, in coming up with the answer. And I look forward to hearing how all of this went for you. Have fun. Take care. Bye.